How you doing, folks? Rick Mercer here. I'm going to play a couple songs for you. I'll show you some uh, techniques, Keith Richards techniques, uh, open G tuning. One of my favorite songs, Can't You Hear Me Knocking. I'll just play a bit of it for you, then we'll break it down, the structure and everything. at a time. I usually do the pull-offs with these strings like this. So you're playing the D string and G. It goes like this. That's the first part. Of it. Then you're going to move down to the A string and D, but still playing two strings at the same time. strings at the same time. That's how you're getting that sound. And this the next part is so you're borrowing your five strings right across. Not worrying about this top string. Don't worry about that at all. You're playing these two strings, the B and the E. Then you're moving everything up once. So watch. The next part of the song, you're going to the G. Then back to D. But due to the picking style, we're going to do this.
that's how Keith Richards gets that neat sound. It, it, a lot of songs are like this. That kind of stuff. Eh? But for this song, back to the song here, so we're going to go... See, I'm just hitting this first note once. Anyway, neat little tricks. Cool little song. Uh, with Stones, there's a lot of this pull-off stuff. You know, it's uh, the song Honky Tonk Woman. Another great classic song. Instead of just playing it regularly. Here it lacks it. It doesn't have that right, uh, nice sound. So you do the pull-off strings on the D and the G together. And with your pick, play the open G. Just going. So it's kind of hokey. So what we're going to do, we're going to do get that little twang in there. Here I'm actually going to turn the note. Now watch this hand. playing a note then bringing this hand into it. Now we're going to go to this note, so here's how we get there. Hear that like pull-off sound?